I'm going to uh, uh, create a, a dummy variable just so that you can see what it looks like and why it's called a dummy variable. So let's think about this. If I were to say male was worth one and female uh, worth two, I would have a totally different result than if you made males two and females one or five or six. So a dummy variable just means that we have, we call it a benchmark or in this case, if I make males one, I'm going to make females zero. So everything will be based on this female. Uh, uh, well, I, I talk about it as being a male, right? So whatever I get here will say, if you're male, you will be 10 times more likely or uh, you're, you'll have an increase in job satisfaction or whatever. So you assume that the female will have zero and that uh, the male will be uh, positive if they're, if they're greater than the female and negative if they're less than. Let me just try uh, opening up into um, SPSS so uh, you get the idea. What we want to do now is I'm going to use this combination and I'm going to make a new variable. So I'm going to recode into a different variable. And I'll show you why. It's only so I can go back and check. You can try the same variable, but I like to be able to do enough checks as I go. So let's let's open um, this one. And I'm going to make a dummy variable. And it's easier if there's just two choices. So let's see if I have gender on here. Gender of respondents. Here it is. And in here, you see we have missing as minus one. We have males as one and females as two. And I'm going to change this so when I'm done, I'm going to have males as one and females as zero. So I'm going to go under uh, transform. And I'm going to make it under a different variable. And it's asking me what, um, what I want to transform. And I want to uh, transform... Uh, number 101. So it's asking me what I want to do. There it is. I'm going to call this um, uh, gender new. No spaces allowed, right? So it obviously doesn't need know my writing. So. And I'm going to say change. So I've now created a new variable called gender new. And it asks me, so to begin with, I'm going to um, put in here, I'm going to put in a 1. So what used to be 1 will still be 1. And it's going to, so it'll, it will save all of those. But now what used to be 2 is now going to be 0. So it will now change. And the minus ones, I don't care about because it's going to take all of those away. So um, continue and change and OK. My new variable is gender new. And here it is here. I now need to assign uh, my value 1 for male, add and zero for female, add, OK. So I'm going to go and check that now to make sure that that's uh, what happened. So let's go back to the data view and a uh, way over because it's uh, um, here it is. Now, I have ones and twos in it, which is a, a good sign. Uh, and then I'm going to the end here. Here's my gender new, one and zeros now, right? And if I want to see if it's correct, I'm going to press this button. And notice it says male and female. Looks good, yes? Now I'm ready to go. I know, I know that I have it as a dummy variable. And then in the code book, if I were to do a code book, it will give me one and zero for this. 
And just to give you an example, I know it's not asking you to do this, but let's do a regression um, linear where I'm going to put in um, age as an independent variable and level of democracy as dependent. And I'm going to add my new gender as an independent variable too. So I'm basically saying that uh, does uh, gender and age have anything to do with the level of democracy? And so, well, I like some of these other things in here, but uh, I'm just basically um, doing it so that you can have an idea of uh, do okay, so you can see. Okay, so what this is, so what this is saying in the model summary. So gender is significant. So remember, it's male. So it says if you're male, then the level of democracy will drop uh, 0 0.08 compared to female. You see now why we've made one of them zero and the other one not.